how to insert a progress chart in to do list in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In a previous tutorial, I have explained how we can create a to do list using checkboxes in Excel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a progress chart there so that whenever you check mark a task, your progress chart updates. Okay, before starting, I want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me. Let's get started. <music> As I have said, I have created a to-do list using checkboxes. If you haven't watched that tutorial, you can check that here. And I'm going to add a progress chart here so that I can track progress visually. Okay, so our to-do list is ready. And now we're going to need a few formula before we insert the progress chart. Let's check if our to-do list works. Let's say these are the three tasks I have added to the list and if I check mark here you can see the to-do list is working just like I have showed in the previous tutorial. Now what if I want to learn how many tasks I have, secondly how many tasks I have completed, what's the completion percentage and I want to show a chart here. Okay. Now let's find out our total task. So equal to we are going to use count a function. This will count all the cells that are not empty and I'm going to select the range here. Okay. If I close parenthesis, press enter. So our total task is three. Okay. Now completed task. For that, I'm going to write here count if function equal to count if range will be from cell B2 to this cell and press comma. The criteria will be true because we have checkboxes linked to these cells. Okay, now if I click here, our completed task is zero. If I check mark here, it says one, check mark here, two, and it says three. Okay, that means both of our formula is working. Let's check if we can count our task perfectly. So our total task has been changed to four. That means both of these formula is working. We can find out total task and completed task. Now we need to convert this in percentage because I want the chart to be in percentage. Okay. Now completed percentage. How you can find it? We can find it by completed task divided by total task. And if we format this in percentage, so we are going to get percentage. Let's check mark this you can see our percentage is working now the remaining percentage will be 1 minus completed percentage that is equal to 1 minus completed percentage if I press enter you can see this is the remaining percentage if we change this our function is working now it's time to insert our chart here okay select this and then click on insert and from this chart drop down I'm going to add donut chart okay so this is our chart here I'm going to place this here and if I change it our chart is already working but I want to format this a bit so first thing we're going to need is completed percentage inside the chart okay so click on the chart click on insert under the text select text box and go to the formula bar write equal to and then select the cell that has completed percentage press enter 0% format it and if you want you can change the font also Okay, so our percentage is working. Now I'm going to format the chart. Now click the remaining percentage. Make sure you only selected that percentage. Now from here, change the fill color to this one and change the border to the same color. Okay, now select the other one and change the border to the same color, which is this one. Okay, now change the border weight a bit. Okay, and change the donut hole size. So this is our chart, okay? Now I'm going to remove this text from here and here I'm going to change this to completed, okay? Now select the chart area and change the border to no line, okay? So this is our chart and this is our data preparation. If you want, you can move this. Now the last thing we're going to do is click on view and then check mark here, read line. Okay, now you can see our to-do list has a chart that will display completion percentage. So if I change this, you can see it's working. If we add another text here, our percentage is changing. Okay, and we can easily change the percentage. This is how you can create a progress chart in a to-do list. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can, support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.